good morning to all seniors and good morning to all today my topic is mechanical ventilation i want to discuss about the mechanical ventilation indications contraindications mechanical ventilation is a form of life support where the patient has respiratory failure caused by failure to oxygenate type 1 respiratory failure with result in decreased pa pa2 hypoxia and failure to ventilate type 2 respiratory failure with the resultant increase in pseo2 hypercapnia the aim of mechanical ventilation is primarily to maintain adequate alveolar gas exchange a mechanical ventilator delivers a set of uh, gas to a patient based on volume pressure or flow mechanical ventilation takes over a major portion of the work of uh, spontaneous breathing and provides time for recovery indications of mechanical ventilation unprotected and unstable airways uh, seen in stupor or com uh, comatose patients hypercapnic respiratory acidosis seen in copd patients hypoxic respiratory failure seen in ards patients circulatory failure seen in cardiopulmonary arrest and refractory shock acute lung injury seen in trauma aspiration pneumonia and sepsis elevated intracranial pressure requiring hyperventilation and general anesthesia for airway protection neuromuscular disorders like myasthenia gravis apnea produced by drug induced sedation upper airway obstruction caused by epiglottitis and laryngeal edema contraindications of mechanical ventilation untreated pneumothorax patient or family refusal for mechanical ventilation medical futility types of mechanical ventilation uh, negative pressure ventilation the pressure inside the lung drops the negative pressure sucks air in for us humans negative pressure ventilation is the normal physiological way we breathe to achieve negative pressure ventilation there must be a sub uh, sub atmospheric pressure to draw air in, in, into lungs this was achieved in 19th century when john dalgiel and alfred jones independently developed tank ventilators also known as iron lung the use of iron lung became widespread during the polio epidemic of the 1900th century in, the, in which the ventilation was achieved by placing a patient inside a box that enclosed the body in a box with sub, sub atmospheric pressures coming to positive pressure ventilation it is the most common type of uh, mechanical ventilation in which positive pressure generated by ventilator the, that is greater than the atmospheric uh, atmospheric pressure to push air into lungs the air then fills the alveoli where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place in 1667 hook showed that blowing air down the windpipe and out through in the lung sustained life in 1744 william uh, tosach formally described mouth to mouth respiration in 1850 the bello apparatus developed by gian leer uh, leroy etioles in which positive pressure venti- uh, positive pressure produced during artificial ventilation in 1971 the modern ventilators were developed by sven gunnar olsen who introduced the first elect- electrically controlled ventilator that is uh, that's called servo ventilator 900 the positive pressure ventilation it, it is two types first one is invasive ventilation and second one is non invasive ventilation in invasive ventilation it is a type that uh, involves the insertion of an artificial airway endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube into the trachea this a- establishes a direct connection between the ventilator and patient lungs non invasive ventilation it is a type of ventilator support requires the use of face mask that creates a tight seal over the patient mouth this allows the machine to force oxygen rich air into the patient lungs using positive pressure example cpap and bipap ventilator settings coming to ventilator settings first is mode a ventilator mode is a setting that determines how the machine will deliver breath to the patients tidal volume the volume of air that is delivered with each breath normally 8 to 10 ml per kg kg of the patient's ideal body weight respirate rate the number of breaths the delivered per minute usually 10 to 20 breaths per minute fio2 the percentage of inspired oxygen that is delivered being delivered per minute the room air 
in the room A, the FIOD is 21 percent. IE ratio, the ratio of inspir inspiratory portion compared to the expiratory portion of the breathing cycle. It is normally between 1, uh, one to 2 and uh, we can uh, increase 1 to 1 is to 4. PEEP, positive and expiratory pressure that is applied at the end of the expiratory phase in order to prevent alveolar collapse. It is um, in between 4 to 6 centimeters of H2O. Inspiratory flow rate, the rate at which the volume of air is being delivered to the patient, usually 40 to 60 liters per minute. The trigger sensitivity, the setting that determines how much effort, negative pressure that uh, created by the patient must, uh, must, must generate to in order to trigger a breath to be delivered. It, uh, normally in between minus 2 to minus, uh, minus 1 to minus 2. Patient data from ventilator. First is peak airway pressure. This represents the airway pressure generated in the trachea and, uh, and proximal airways during the inspiration. This is the maximal pressure obtained during positive pressure ventilation and represents the total pressure needed to overcome resistance called re related to the circuit, endotracheal tube, airway and lung tissue as well as uh, impedance due to elastic recoiling of the lung and chest wall. Increased peak airway pressure indicates retains airway secretions, bronchospasm and even a kinked endotracheal uh, tube. Decreased peak airway pressure indicates a disconnection or a major leak in the breathing system, inadequate fresh gas flow, i.e. oxygen supply failure or faulty or un unconnected ventilator, power supply failure to the ventilator, tracheal cuff leak and also seen extubation of the endotracheal tube from the patient. Plateau pressure. Plateau pressure is the elastic recoil pressure of the respiratory system at the end of the inspiration. This also represents the transalveolar pressure. The target P, uh, P plat is 30 centimeters H2O. If the P plat is greater than 35 centimeters H2O and the risk of barotrauma. P plat is determined by the lung compliance. In the healthy adult undergoing mechanical ventilation with normal lung compliance, P plat is low, usually in, in the range of 5 to 15 centimeters of H2O. Patients with alveolar disease, pneumonia, cardiopulmonary edema, acute lung injury, ARDS, pulmonary fibrosis have poor lung compliance and P plat is typically much higher in these states. Greater than 30. Patient data from, uh, from ventilator, expiratory tidal volume. Expiratory tidal volume gives the information about the tidal volume generated in the lung where the present targeted, targeted ventilation is applied. In the volume target ventilation, the gap between the set tidal volume and the expiratory tidal volume represents the leak from the tubing or pneumothorax or any air trapping. Respirate rate. The total respirate rate is the set control rate plus additional patient initiated breaths. The respirate rate and the uh, expiratory tidal volume are used to assess the patient's readiness to be weaned from the ventilator. Inspiratory hold. An inspiratory hold of 0.3 to 0.5 seconds is used to measure peep plat. Expiratory hold. An intrinsic peep may be detected by occluding the airway at the end of the expiration and measuring the equilibrium airway pressure after 3 to 4 seconds. Intrinsic peep or uh, intrinsic peep. This is uh, concealed volume of air above functional residual capacity of the patient left in the alveoli at the end of expiration. When the expiratory hold is applied, the deflection on the pressure gauge measures the intrinsic peep. In the new generation ventilators, this maneuver is automatically done and the intrinsic peep value is digitally displayed. Intrinsic peep represents the air trapping. Air trapping also elevates peep plat and therefore later can be taken as a reliable marker that indicates the volume of air trapped, especially while ventilating the patients of bronchial asthma and COPD. Coming to the modes of ventilation, the most common conventional modes of ventilation are the following. Continuous mandatory ventilation, CMV, synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation, SAMV, pressure support ventilation, PSV. In the continuous mandatory ventilation, the ventilation will be controlled if there is, there are no spontaneous breaths, but can be assisted if they are uh, spontaneous breaths. The breath type, always a mandatory breath, preset volume or pressure. CMB has three subtypes, volume control, pressure control, pressure regulated volume control, PRVC. Volume control, 
here the trigger trigger is time which depends on the set frequency when the patient is making spontaneous efforts the trigger is either flow or pressure volume control ventilation maintains a constant minute ventilation but there is a no compensation for leaks and airway pressures may vary with changing lung compliance or resistance the clinician sets the tidal volume respiratory rate i ratio peep in volume control mode however an airway obstruction increase the patient's minute ventilation can lead to air trapping in pressure control ventilation again the trigger is time in this mode the clinician sets the inspiratory pressure above the peep the backup rate and the inspiratory time thus he here is the contrast to vcv the pressure is constant while the tidal volume is depend upon the compliance and resistance of the respiratory system the clinician sets the inspiratory airway pressure respiratory rate i ratio and peep the disadvantages are uh, the minute ventilation is not guaranteed and air trapping may occur with prolonged inspiratory times in pressure regulated volume control prvc is a hybrid of volume control both are volume control and pressure control modes of ventilation this can be this can help deliver a guaranteed tidal volume with pressure control waveform this is done by combination of alternation alteration in inspiratory time and peak flow in response to the breath by breath changes in the airway or compliance characteristics prvc is a mechanical ventilation lung protective strategy used to meet ards patients uh, ards patients in management of uh, ards patients goals by maximize the alveolar recruitment uh, patient comfort and patient ventilatory uh, patient ventilatory synchrony synchrony while minimizing the risk of borrow trauma or volume trauma synchronous intermittent va mandatory ventilation smv allows spontaneous breathing in between breaths are delivered by ventilator the ventilator is set to deliver a certain uh, set of number of breaths while the spontaneous breaths we, will be synchronized to ma mandatory breaths during smv the mandatory breaths can be either volume control or pressure control this mode can allow some uh, spontaneous respiratory effort and aid weaning from the ventilator pressure support ventilation psv is a spontaneous, spontaneous mode of ventilation the clinician sets the only inspiratory pressure above the peep is a spontaneously breathing patient this mode of ventilation allows for titration of patient effort during the process of weaning from ventilator this uh, the disadvantages are the there is no guarantee of, guarantee of tidal volume and changing respiratory mechanics this mode is has no backup ventilation in the in, in the event of apnea coming to ventilator graphics ventilator graphics have become an essential tool in managing patients on mechanical ventilators these graphics are displayed in two forms scalars loops coming to scalars a graphic display where any of the three variables that uh, that make up to the ventilator graphics flow volume pressure are plotted against time is known as scalar time is conventionally shown on the horizontal x axis where flow volume pressure are plotted on the vertical y, y axis loops loops are two dimensional uh, graphic display of two scalar values the most common loops available available for in interpretation are flow volume loops pressure volume loops in the flow volume loops when uh, viewing the flow volume loop horizontal x axis is to indicate the volume whereas flow is displayed on the vertical y axis when viewing from the pressure volume loop pressure is usually displayed on the horizontal x axis while volume is displaced on the displayed on the vertical y axis scalar graphics flow versus time spontaneous uh, versus mechanical breath observe that inspiratory flow <coughs> inspiratory flow is traced above the baseline where the expiratory flow is indicated below the baseline inspiratory flow expiratory flow the flow versus time curve for spontaneous breath resembles as a sine wave flow pa pattern this is spontaneous breath the flow versus time for a mechanical volume targeted breath shows a square wave pattern this is mechanical breath flow versus time the uh, initiation of flow at the beginning of the inspiration at this time the exhalation 
valve closes to permi permit the mechanical breath to deliver the volume to the patient lungs. This is inspiration and beginning of the expiration valve opens, this is expiration. The peak inspiratory flow rate, it is the flow at which the level reaches in instantaneously during a constant flow pattern. The flow remains at this level until the inspiration is terminated. This is peak inspiratory flow rate. Peak uh, expiratory flow rate, it is the flow at which the level reaches spontaneously during a constant flow pattern. The flow remains at this level until the until the expiration is terminated. This is the peak expiratory flow rate. End of the inspiratory flow delivery and beginning of the expiration. This event occurs when the uh, preset tidal volume is delivered. At this time, the exhalation valve opens to allow for passive exhalation. This uh, indicates duration of expiratory flow. This is expiratory time, T. Scalar graphics. Uh, Recognition of common abnormalities in flow, flow versus time graph, airway obstruction and response to bronchodilators. Increased airway, airway resistance due to bronchospasm may result in decreased PEFR, peak expiratory flow rate and prolonged expiratory flow. After administration of bronchodilator, if this is peak expiratory flow rate decreased and a long expiratory tidal volume. After administration of uh, Bronchodilator improves PEFR and allows an expiratory flow to the return baseline within a normal normal time. Higher PEFR and shorter T. Air trapping or auto peep. Normally, expiratory flow returns to the baseline prior to the next breath. In the expiratory flow does not return to zero and subsequent inspiration begins to below the baseline, auto peep or air trapping present. This is our uh, expression process is not completed in this graph. This is air trapping, auto peep. The presence of auto peep or air trapping may result from inadequate uh, expiratory time, respiratory, rapid respiratory rates, long inspiratory time or prolonged exhalation due to bronchoconstriction. Scalar graphics coming to volume versus time. Information obtained from from a vol volume versus time scalar graph includes a visual representation of inspiratory tidal volume, inspiratory tidal volume and inspiratory phase, inspiration and expiration phase and inspiratory time. This is inspiratory time, Ti. Recognition of common abnormalities volume versus time graph, presence of air leak or air trapping. A leak in the circuit or around tracheal tube can be detected from the volume versus time graph. If the expiratory tracing smoothly descends, then the plateaus uh, but does not reach the baseline. It indicates the presence of a leak in the breathing system or air trapping. The volume accounted for air trap, air leak. To confirm air trapping, look the at, look at the expiratory component of the flow versus time curve. Coming to pressure versus time, uh, spontaneous uh, breath versus mechanical breath. During the inspiratory phase, the pressure curve shows a negative deflection. This is the negative deflection. And during the exhalation uh, goes above the baseline. Exhalation goes, expiration goes above the baseline. Compared with the mechanical breath, there is no, de no negative deflection seen in the pressure versus time graph. There is no negative deflection in mechanical breath. Assisted and versus control breath, assist mode, the patient initiates the breath by generating a negative pressure. The ventilator sensor recognizes the patient efforts and delivery a mechanical breath. This event can be observed on the pressure versus time scalar where a small negative deflection below the baseline precedes a mechanical breath. This is assisted breath, patient effort and this is the mechanical control breath. Pressure versus time, peak inspiratory pressure, it is the maximum pressure required during a breath. P uh, peak inspiratory pressure indicates the pressure required to deliver a set of tidal volume during volume ventilation. This is peak inspiratory pressure. 
positive and expiratory pressure it is the pressure in the airway at the end of expiration peep is present when the baseline uh, pressure is above zero this is the peep recognition of common abnormalities in the pressure versus time uh, time graph trans airway pressure trans airway pressure coming from uh, peep inspiratory pressure minus peep plat it uh, reflects the pressure required to overcome airway resistance a significant increase trans airway pressure is associated with uh, increased airway resistance seen in bronchospasm airway secretions leads to airway obstruction plateau pressure it is uh, obtained upon activation of inspiratory pass control it provides a means of uh, measuring static lung compliance in a, an increase in the p plat and corresponding increase in the peak in, inspiratory pressure are consistent with uh, decreased lung compliance patients in obesity and kyphoscoliosis coming to loops pressure versus uh, volume loop pv loop observe the direction of the tracing of the loop when the tracing is counter clockwise this is counter clockwise counter clockwise the breath delivered in a mechanical breath on the other hand a clockwise tracing indicates a spontaneous breath clockwise this is clockwise tracing that uh, that is spontaneous breath with inspiration during inspiration spontaneous breath during expiration clockwise in the assisted mechanical breath tracing begins clockwise indicates the patient's effort in assisted breath clockwise patient's effort spontaneous breath and resumes in counter clockwise fashion for the mechanical delivery and the resumes counter clock mechanism counter clockwise direction tracing mechanical ventilation pv loops recognition of common abnormalities in the pressure versus volume loop decrease lung compliance in volume targeted ventilation peak inspiratory pressure is the changing variable therefore the lower the lung compliance the higher the peak inspiratory pressure displayed on the preset tidal volume peak inspiratory levels the pressure recognition of common abnormalities in the pressure versus volume loop decrease lung compliance in pre tar pressure targeted ventilation the peak inspiratory pressure is the constant variable and tidal volume changes according to the lung compliance lung compliance is decreased and increased coming from preset to peep increased airway pressure pv loops an increased airway pressure is associated with abnormal widening of the pv loop this abnormal widening of the shape of the pv loop is referred to as an increased hysteresis uh, sagging or lagging and alveolar distension alveolar distension uh, often seen during ventilation of patients with the ards and a volume targeted uh, mode but should be avoided the classic sign known as beak effect or duck bill beak effect or duck bill shows an increase in airway pressure airway pressure is increased here without any appreciable increase in volume a switch to pressure targeted ventilation at appropriate safe pressure level or a reduction in tidal volume are indicated in the, in this case to prevent all or over distension increased work of breathing normally the pv loop uh, traces in a counter clockwise direction a significant clockwise deflection prior to the initiation of mechanical breath indicates patient's effort this is patient's work of breathing patient's effort adjusting the sensitivity and providing uh, adequate uh, inspiratory flow can minimize the patient's work of breathing flow volume loop <coughs> flow volume loop fp loop ventilators produce flow volume loop with inspiration on the upper upper quadrant inspiration on the upper quadrant expiration on the lower quadrant fp loop provides information about peak inspiratory flow rate peak expiratory flow rate peak inspiratory flow rate and peak expiratory flow rate and tidal volume recognition of common abnormalities in uh, flow versus uh, volume loop air leak ideally expired uh, volume should be equal to the inspired volume expired volume should be equal to the inspired volume 
with an air leak however expired volume is less than inspired volume here the inspired volume is high and expired volume is low so there is a leak this commonly observed in situations such as a leak around the endotracheal tube and circuit leak and leaks via chest tube increased airway resistance the typical pattern of increased airway resistance due to bronchospasm such as in asthma in reflected on the fv loop uh, as a decreased uh, peak expiratory flow rate and a scooped out pattern on the expiratory tracing this is a scooped out pattern in the expiration decreased pefr seen in fv uh, flow volume loop effective administration of bronchodilator will show an improvement on both pefr and con configuration of the expiratory tracing weaning from the mechanical ventilation weaning should be attempted when the following conditions are fulfilled every day in the morning we should assess the patient for weaning by daily screen uh, alert cooperative patient acute phase of disease process has resolved acceptable pattern and depth of spontaneous breathing patient coughs when suction catheter is passed intact gag reflex patients not receiving any vasopressor or sedative infusion predictors of successful weaning on spontaneous breathing trial tidal volume is greater than 5 ml per kg body weight vital capacity is 10 to 15 ml per kg body weight respiratory rate is less than 30 per minute and pa would uh, pa o2 uh, in, uh, greater than 60 mm hg or uh, oxygen saturation greater than 90 percent ph is greater than 7.3 psco2 is less than 45 mm hg complications of the mechanical ventilation ventilator uh, uh, induced in lung injury barotrauma volute trauma oxygen toxicity ventilator associated pneumonia cardiovascular effects reducing venous return blood pressure and cardiac output